everyone welcome back to my channel today i have a i don't know i think i'm gonna call it like craft store haul <laughs> so on black friday i picked up a few things crafty related and not crafty related from amazon michaels and joanne so i thought is it joanne or joanne's i don't know <sighs> the bag or the label always says joanne but i feel like it's Joanne's. I don't know. Uh, so I have some diamond painting related things, some other crafty things, and then a few ornaments that I picked up from Joanne slash Joanne's. <laughs> um, so I thought I would show you guys everything. So let's start with Michael's because I have just one thing. So on Black F Friday, I don't know why I just stuttered that. On Black Friday, I ran into my local Michaels and picked up another washi tape organizer. This is the one that I use. Uh, it's from Simply Tidy, uh, washi tape storage keeper. I've showed one of these on my channel before, but you just open it with a couple of clips and then you have two removable pieces and then you have two more at the bottom. I already have two of these and I still have room in one of them, but I want to kind of organize my washi a little bit differently. Uh, I want to go by, I think I want to go by store and then organize each shop in a different way. So I'm actually going to be doing that in one of my December videos this year. Um, I'm just going to show you all my washi. We're going to reorganize it together. Um, and I did place an order with Amanda Michelle Designs on Black Friday, which you guys will see in a small shop haul in the next few days. Uh, so I did need I did need to move up to another one, but like I said, I really wanted to do some organization. So I picked up one of those. Uh, I believe it was like 60% off on Black Friday. So I got it for, I don't know, maybe like $12, probably less than that. I can't remember. It's been a while now. I've been waiting for everything to come in. Ugh, my Joanne's order came in in all separate pieces and I got an item I didn't even order. It's been a little bit of a fiasco. So that is Michael's. Now let's check out Amazon because I have the most things to show you from Joann's. So hopefully my address didn't just get in the frame. I'll turn it this way. So I picked up three more sets of these large Tic Tac containers. And I really like using these with the tiered the six tier stadium storage for stamps from Joann's, which that is why I picked these up. I do have one of those in my Joann's order, but these were on sale. <clears throat> Was it like $9.99 maybe? I can't remember, but much cheaper than they normally are. And three of them fill the that stadium storage. I think you have a few left over, but you do need three if you want to go all the way up. So I did pick up three of them. They're just the large style Tic Tac with the larger spout. These hold a lot of drills. I feel like the size is quite deceiving, but you can get a lot of drills into one of these. So yeah, I was excited to find these on sale. I don't even know how I realized that they were on sale. I wasn't like necessarily shopping Amazon on Black Friday. I was shopping more so at like Target and Walmart and those places. But I think maybe I had a set of these saved to my cart just so I can keep an eye when they do go on sale. And I think I just happened to notice that they, oh geez, that they were on sale. So I picked those up. Something else that I noticed was on sale were these crystal sets from Forever Young. Um, you get 200 of each color. Now I picked these up in both the round and the square. These were like $3 a pack, which I thought was a really good price considering sometimes we pay much more than that from small shops, which not saying anything there. You guys know I love my special drills, but this might be a good option for some of you. Um, and it looks like they are labeled with DMC color, which is amazing. So we have 818, which is a pale pink. We have 3733, 3804, 210, 
208, 3746, 333, 794, 3844, it's a really pretty color, 995, 796, 958, that's really pretty, 703, 907, 700, 444, 741, 946, <clears throat> excuse me, 666, and 5200. So like I said, you get 200 drills, and let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 colors in here. I'll definitely link these down below. Um, I'm not an Amazon affiliate, so any link is just a direct link to the item. Um, so that's the round set. And then the square set. Let's see. Obviously, these will be U.S. Amazon links. If you are outside of the States, I'm sure you could maybe search the Forever Young store and see if you can find them. Are these different colors, actually? 5200, 945. I feel like this one didn't have 945. So some of the colors may be different, but it's a really cool color, actually. 3607, 3328. Yeah, that works. 666, 815. Ooh, that's pretty. 947. 725, 741, 703, 909, it's a good Christmas green, 943, 3808, it's a really pretty color, 995, 796, 915, 153, 550, 154, and ooh, this one comes with a 310 crystal. Very cool. So, I don't have an extensive collection of crystal drills. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I tend to use a lot of ABs and I do have quite a few sparklers, but like DMC colored crystals, I don't tend to have or use often. So I don't have very many. So I thought those were really great starter sets. I'm not exactly sure how much they are now. They could still be on sale, but again, check the link down below. Uh, not affiliate and maybe you would like to purchase them. Now, the last two things I picked up from Amazon were some pen sets. Now, I didn't necessarily purchase them for the pens, but I purchased them for the tips. So this was something that I was looking for on Black Friday because I've found myself using metal tips more and more. Just because I, I am a hard presser, so my plastic tips tend to just go dull very quickly. Um, I do have some silver ones, but I was interested in picking up some gold and rose gold tips. So I do not know the seller of these ones. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have a seller, but again, I'll link these down below. They were fairly inexpensive considering you get an entire set of tips, wax, and two pens. So, and it looks like we have some extra little O-rings as well. So we have, it looks like three single placers. So we have two regular and one bent, which I've actually enjoyed using the bent tips lately. Who am I? I don't know. <laughs> and then we have, ah, get in there. I don't want to lose you. We have a straightener. We have a 10 placer, quickly becoming one of my favorites. You guys are always like, how do you multi-place so fast? I like, or how do you diamond paint so fast? Because I use multi-placers. <laughs> so we have a two placer, a three, a four, and a five. And then we have lots of extra little O-rings there, which is awesome. We have a six placer, a seven, another favorite, an eight, and a nine. 
So I thought that that was a really good value. I mean, you get these two pens as well. This one's so cute. It's like a little one. And this one is actually, it's like, it's metal, I think. Let's see. I'm curious. Oh yeah, these fit in really well. This actually feels pretty nice. It's kind of thin, but it's really like lightweight and kind of silky. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's a good way to describe it, but it is. And then we also got some wax. So this is orange wax. I've never seen orange wax before. So I will definitely be trying that out. So this is the gold set. I just don't want to lose these O-rings. I'm just going to pop them down here. And then we have the rose gold set. Now, obviously... I could have just bought some silver ones, but is anybody else like really matchy with their metals? <laughs> so I have some pens that have like gold flake or rose gold flake, and I just don't want to put silver tips in them. I don't know. That's probably really weird, but it is what it is. So when I saw these on a really good price, again, I can't remember exactly how much they were, but I will link them down below. Um, so we have this is a different type of pen and then we have a different type of metal pen some pink wax or purple i guess and then the same type of tips just in rose gold so i'll link both of these down below if you're interested if you're on the hunt for some metal tips that is everything i got from amazon now let's get into joann's because I did a little damage there now there's only a couple of diamond painted diamond painting related things I'm going to show you. The rest are just other things I picked up. So let's get into it. So the first thing I have here is some fabric for a blanket. Now my best friend had a baby in August and as terrible as it is to say, I still haven't made him a blanket. She has two other uh, kiddos that I've made blankets for at their baby showers. They didn't have a shower or a sprinkle this time around, so I was not given a time frame to make a blanket. So um, I decided I would make one for Christmas for him, and I thought this fabric was really cute. They were having a huge sale on all of their fabrics. I want to say it was like 70% off. I think this is like, I don't remember how much a yard this was, but I got it for like $2 and change, but it's just some little safari animals monkey lion elephant just really cute and then i thought this lime green would coordinate quite well with the wreath so i have shared a couple of my blankets over on instagram i just do the no sew like tie blankets you can probably find um, a tutorial somewhere on YouTube. I learned how to make it from a family friend and they've become my go-to baby shower gift. So it's just kind of nice to give a handmade item and you can never have too many blankets with a baby. <laughs> so that was my first purchase. Next up, I picked up a new photo box for my spare drills. I thought this one was really pretty and I was tempted to replace all of my spare drill boxes with this one, but I kind of like my eclectic mix. It's just one I, whichever one I pick when it's time for a new one. So I'm thinking about redoing my spare drill storage so that I have my rounds separate from my squares, uh, which meant I would have needed another box. Plus I'm just outgrowing my storage. So this was like $2 on Black Friday. These were like $10 if you don't buy them on sale so decided to snag one at that price same with one of these little baskets here I use these to hold my diamond painting tools for a certain kit or I'll corral all my small shop packages in one and when it's full I know it's time to share it with you guys um, I have a two pack you've seen them in videos before definitely in post reviews um, I have a two pack that I got from Marshalls, I think, or maybe TJ Maxx, but this was like a dollar on Black Friday. I probably should have picked up a few more, but I feel like I'm always needing one. So I was like, maybe three is the magic number of baskets. So I did pick up one of these. Again, I should have gotten a couple more, I think, but you will see this in some post reviews, I'm sure. 
And then the real reason I placed my order was for another one of these stamp and supply stadium storage shelf thingies. So I got this idea from, I want to say it was Crafty Kit Kat over on Instagram. I can't remember. Maybe I'll, I'll try to find who I found it from and put it down below or whatever. I always like to give credit where I can. Um, but I have done a video on this before, so maybe I'll just link that video because I know I mention the creator there. But they had this on sale for maybe like $14, which is cheaper than I paid for my first one. Um, this has become my favorite uh, setup for my drills. I still really love my Elizabeth Ward containers, but when you have those really big paintings with a lot of colors, looking at you, Dreamer Designs, um, this works really well. Like I said before, you can get like, I want to say like 73 of those containers in here, um, which is a really good amount. And yeah, I really like the setup. And these large containers, it's like they were made for this storage setup. They fit perfectly. So yes, I did get another one of those. They are a little bulky to store, but we have a closet in this spare room and there's a shelf up top where I keep all my spare drills and all of my diamond painting storage options. So thankfully I am able to store this fairly easily. So this was the real reason for my order. And then I just kept finding other things as you do, right? As you do. I think all I have left is some ornaments, which I thought I would share because why not? They were like a dollar. And these are like $10 ornaments otherwise. So I did pick up a few. I was super bummed though because yesterday I think it was they sent me or Saturday maybe I got my final package from Joann's and it was an ornament that I was really looking forward to and they sent me a completely different item that I had not ordered so I emailed them and they're like oh we're so sorry unfortunately we can't just ship you a replacement you need to make an order and I was like I'll just take my money back <laughs> thanks so I did pick up a few ornaments. Now we have four trees in our house and they're all kind of themed. So our living room tree is just our tree. So ornaments from our childhood or our couple ornaments, stuff like that. They all go on that tree. The tree in here in the spare room is a white and green theme. I don't know how I came to that. I just had a lot of white and green ornaments. So it just kind of worked and I think it looks really cool. The tree in our bedroom is like kind of rustic-y and I don't know, woodland type of vibes. And then our dining room tree is my Ray Dunn ornament tree as well as like a baking gingerbread type of theme. So all of these ornaments kind of fit, <laughs> fit that bill for at least one of our trees. So this first one is just a really cute little kitty and it reminded me of Luna. This ornament is $16.99. They had all of their ornaments for like $1.50. So you can see why I, I bought them then and not at regular price. But I thought this looked like Luna. I just thought it would be cute for our living room tree. Just a little nod to her. And then I picked up this little bear. Again, $12.99. I would never pay $12.99 for this. But a dollar, you got me. Um, this is going to go in our bedroom tree. I just thought it would look cute with our little woodland themed. It's just a cute little bear. What else do we have? These are, I imagine them as a set. And I thought these would look pretty in this room, our green and white tree. I say ours like Stephen has a choice, but <laughs> he just kind of lets me run with it. So these could also go on our bedroom tree, I guess, because they're like wood, but I, I bought them with the intent to put them in here. So that's probably where they will go. These are $6.99, so not as bad, but I don't think I would have paid $7 for these 
So they're just three different types of little snowflakes. I guess they could also kind of go on a gingerbread type theme tree because they kind of look like gingerbread with icing. But there's those three. Uh, let's see. If I can get in these. Ooh, yeah, this one was pretty. It's been so long. I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> is big. So I bought this one with the intent of hanging it in our bedroom on that tree. I just thought it was really pretty. Looks like little reindeers, little reindeer family. This one is $6.99 regularly. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. This is pretty solid and it's quite large. I mean, it's like the size of my hand. These, I think I ordered two imagine where these are meant for. These are going to go on the dining room tree. These ones are $6.99 regularly. They're just cute little gingers. Um, let's do this one. What are you? Oh yes, a sand dollar. So this doesn't necessarily fit like any of my trees. I don't have like a nautical theme or anything, but I thought this would look really pretty on our white and green tree in here. I just think it's really beautiful. Not an ornament I would normally buy. This is $9.99 regularly, but a dollar and change in the sale. Uh, what's this? Oh, hey, this one is, oh my God, this one's huge. Why did I think this was gonna be smaller? I can't even get into this. Ugh. This thing is massive. <laughs> it's a hot chocolate <laughs> isn't it so cute we have a hot cocoa bar in our kitchen slash dining room area and i thought this would be really cute again on that same tree but 9.99 regularly for a dollar and change it's worth it and then i picked up two more uh, the other one that they sent me the wrong item of, the one they sent me is so ugly, I don't even want to share it. I ordered a little rainbow, uh, which again, doesn't normally fit my vibe, but um, I thought it would be a good, I don't know, I thought it would be a cute representation um, for our angel babies. We're waiting for our rainbow, you know, that whole spiel. <laughs> So these ones actually light up on their own. These are clearly going on the white and green tree. Somewhere I can put them so I remember to turn them off. But we have this really pretty tree ornament. I love the cutouts. You guys can't see my wall, but it's like throwing a really pretty, um, with the pattern, the lights coming really, really cool out of it. So there's that one. And then I got the bulb with the stars. So hopefully I remember to actually turn these off when <laughs> I put them on the tree. So that is my Black Friday craft store haul. Um, not all diamond painting related, but I thought it was still some cool items to share with you guys. I will try to leave links for everything down below. Probably not going to link the ornaments just because it'll take me a long time to find them. But I'll definitely link the Amazon stuff as well as the uh stadium storage tiered shelf thing and the washi tape organizer from michaels so if there's anything that i don't link down below that you would like me to send you a link for please let me know and i will definitely do that i totally messed up that outro so i'm just gonna edit that out and put this in at the end instead so let me try this again i will go ahead and leave links for everything that i can uh, I'm not going to link all the ornaments, but I will link all the Amazon items. I will link the washi tape organizer from Michaels, as well as that sta uh, stadium storage shelf from Joann's. I'll be sure to link those. Um, just as a reminder, my Amazon links are not affiliate, so you don't have to worry about that when you're making your purchase. And I think that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little bit of a different unboxing, a few crafty things and just some fun Christmas items. 
Um, let me know if you picked up anything from these stores during their Black Friday sales, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!